Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos and welcome to my weekly vault video. This week we've got a pretty jam-packed set of vaults. Uh, up first, I guess it doesn't show on this page, is my DK, my main, uh, which has got three slots in the vault, one M plus spot and two raid spots. Really looking for a gavel of the first arbiter. There's not too much else that could make me feel alive on this character. I guess this is my frost items. Uh, that I'm currently in, which are not particularly good, but I'm not even looking for like a one-hander or anything like that to be able to play Frost better. I'm kind of just looking for uh, the Gavel of the First Arbiter. Not, yeah, again, not much else that would be good. Let me put back on all my blood stuff before I forget. Okay, uh, other things that would be okay would be like, I don't know, bracers. Uh, I guess even taking a socket wouldn't be too bad on this thing, so let's see what we got here. Gavel of the First Arbiter, though, is really the the big one. Another week, another no gavel. Okay, we've got a, a leech socketed ring. Unfortunately, not especially well statted, but uh, that would be good for unholy. I could also just take a socket uh, instead, a token of merit instead. So may end up doing that. Yeah, this I mean, this is a good ring, though. But on the other hand, I could put a socket into an existing piece of armor. I guess it would just be into these bracers. That's really good. It's a good... It's a... That's a lot of stats. That's a lot of leech and uh, socket. I'm gonna... I'll just put a socket into my thing, though. I, I don't know. Mastery is uh, not really what I'm after on blood. All right, let's see what's happening on the alts. All right, here's my paladin. Uh, this character actually is quite geared. You'll notice a little glaring pain point in the... Uh, weapon spot, so I'm going to loot spec Rhett and try and get a better Rhett weapon, but uh, this character is mostly a prop paladin. It's just, I've already got 278, one-hander and shield, so uh, just one M+. plus. Actually, I think a raid spot is available here as well, so could be something big out of the raid maybe, too. Oh, a 278 first sigil. Don't mind if I do. That's a... That is a powerful trinket. I'll be taking that and... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Don't mind don't mind upgrading my 268 first sigil. Man, I have this character now has a elegy first sigil, leech blood spattered scale. Uh weave of warp fates has everything all the good trinkets except for old warrior's soul. So pretty cool for especially for a character that's gotten I think almost all of those from the great vault. Uh none of them from actually just dropping off of the bosses. Let me vendor these 265s before I ever accidentally use them. All right, uh, let's see what's going on on the rest of the characters. All right, here's my Demon Hunter, Loot Spec Havoc. Uh, I got two raid bosses killed, so one slot there. This is my alt raid tank uh, this week, which we've started doing. Uh, and I also did a keystone, one keystone, one singular, like 16 or something. I played Night Fae Momentum, actually. It was pretty fun. Uh, we'll see what we got in the old vault here, though. A cloak or a crit verse necklace. Crit verse? Those are nice stats on a necklace. What is my backup cloak though if I'm not using a legendary there? Oh, it's it's also 278. Alright. I think I will go on. Uh yeah, I'm pretty sure I will go with this 278 crit verse necklace then. And uh yeah. That's That should be a stat improvement over this mastery, you know, brutally bad stat thing. So a little upgrade that we found there. Not uh, not too shabby, although still could use a couple sockets. Could use a socket on that and this as well. So maybe I should try and start getting enough to actually buy uh, sockets per week. So try and get three vault slots. That's kind of hard, though. Although maybe alt raid will start killing five bosses, and then it would be quite easy. So we'll see how that goes this week. Tune into the stream to find out. All right, now here is my monk. This character I've actually been doing some keys on, some like, you know, 24s, that kind of stuff. Uh, just mostly for fun, so. Yeah, you can see a couple dungeons I still haven't done. Zero points from a Sanguine Depths that was over an hour. Uh, but, yeah, a couple of, of reasonably-ish reasonable -ish keys. Uh, now this is a character that is a little scuffed. Not afraid to admit it. I've got a... Broker's Lucky Coin, that would be the best thing to upgrade. I have one raid spot and three M-plus spots in my vault this week. So what we're looking for is 
a trinket. Uh, like a, I don't know, IQD or something to go in this spot. Uh, pants with a tertiary. Chest piece with a tertiary. Boots with a tertiary. Nice 278 weapon, either one-handed or two-handed would be, uh, would be fine. Not really interested in jewelry. Even a, a helmet would be okay for brew. Let's see what we got. Okay, we've got a 278 helmet. Ooh, a verse mastery polearm. Ooh, a 278 chest piece. Okay, now, the two-handers are actually pretty nice for Windwalker in Mythic Plus. But I'm pretty sure I'm inting if I don't just take the uh, the eye levels here, the 20 eye levels on the on the chest piece, and just catalyze this thing. And yeah, I, th I think this is gonna be uh, the best bang for my buck here. I hope I have. Yeah, I do have enough cosmic flux. I I've been using a lot of creation catalysts on this character, but luckily I I spent like a week thinking I was maybe gonna play this character and in some keys and stuff. So I would just like log in you know, watch a watch Netflix or YouTube or whatever, and go to the go to Zareth Mortis, fly around, open boxes, kill rares. And in so doing, I generated a surplus of cosmic flux that means that I'm not like constrained by it and I don't I, I can just use the creation catalyst whenever I want, which is a really nice feeling because uh otherwise you're in the spot where it's like every time you get an upgrade you have to go and spend thirty minutes or an hour in Zareth Mortis to be able to actually catalyze it and that's really unpleasant, so... Uh, especially if you want to use it, like, right now. But luckily now I have I have enough flex that I probably never have to worry about doing that again because I'll probably just get enough from, you know, keys and raid at this point. Also, I am killing some raid bosses on this character as well. I might swap this to be my alt raid character for this reset, or I might try and do something crazy and, like, kill Jailer and Rigalon and stuff on it. Although, I think we have two buyers for Jailer this week. So maybe I won't mess around and, and mess with the with the plan there too much. Don't want to int anybody's time. So, yeah, let me just catalyze this thing before I forget. Uh, 278. Bang. I can <laughs> You can upgrade 16 more items after this until the catalyst needs to recharge. Wh why don't they just make these things turn into, like, actually infinite uses after, you know, after the 10th catalyst charge or something like that? Like, what's going on? Go eternal stats as well. And make a mailbox. If anybody's wondering what that add-on is that makes that wheel as well, it's called Opie. O-P-I-E. You can use it to make a bunch of different cool wheels with different things. All right. Let's see what's on. So <laughs> we got some real rats coming up. Let's see what's on them. All right. So rat number one is my warrior, which just did a rat, a rat key on. A uh, lot of potential upgrades here. Got a lot of old domination gear. Really just anything in a catalyzable tier slot, I think, would be what I'm looking for. I'm going to say loot spec arms, because I would like a 278 two-hander as well. If I'm loot spec prot, I could get a shield, which would be good, but I could get a one-hander, which would be bad. Uh, instead, I'm going to find nothing of the sort and take, I guess, a ring and maybe craft unity off of the ring spot uh, and just use this thing instead. This is uh, not bad stats necessarily it's not great for prot but yeah it's not a not exactly what we we're hoping to see out of the vault there but you know rat character can't really complain and then even rattier although actually this character had a little bit of easier time uh completing its weekly 15 than the uh than the warrior did but i i used a lot of kiting used a lot of kiting to get my key done on this thing just run in thrash for a little bit and then Kite, and luckily I was playing with two Moonkins that don't generate any threat because they don't do any damage, and a, uh, a Survival Hunter, which redirects some of its threat to me, so I was able to fairly safely Kite and uh, get, a, get a key done. Yeah, Loot Spec Guardian I guess I'm okay with, because something like a Blood Spattered Scale, like a, that trinket would be pretty cool. And yeah, looking for, again, catalyzable spots. I don't even know if I'll ever get any Cosmic Flux on this character. If I do, it'll probably be next season anyways, and 278s will be whatever, but... You know. Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad, right? Take uh, take what we can get. Maybe make a two-piece, maybe make a four-piece on this character. I would have to fly around Xerath Mortis again on this character to, to get the Flux to do that. 
So I don't know if I have that in me, but uh, you never know. Anyways, those have been my vaults this week. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed just some absolute rats that do not deserve to be wearing any item level 278 items. Putting some on and uh, yeah, see you next week. Bye.